All right. Hello, everyone. It's Robin, and I'm back again with another episode of Amori. Yes, we're still continuing, even though we posted Zelda. Going to be posting Zelda Wednesdays and Amori Fridays. Yeah, I'm super excited about that. So back to Amori. Where we left off was at Sunny's house, and Kel, the real-life Kel, came to our house. And he was like, hey, let's hang out. And I was like, yeah, let's do that. So yeah, I'm hanging out with Cal now. Um, a few things, or at least one thing I want to mention. Sometimes I do not put all of my thoughts into words, but um, I would like to know. You know how you know we have all these characters that are in Sunny's mind or Amori's mind or whoever you want to call him. I don't know, like... If Amoria is part of his name or if Sonny, if he changed his name or something, I don't know. All I know is that he had friends and he has a sister. So the thing is, is his mom is the only one leaving notes. His dad is nowhere to be seen. Where the fuck is his sister? Where is his sister? Where is Mari at? Like, and here's the thing. I was thinking about it again. And you think, and you go back to that time that we heard the knocking on the door the first time, the first night, or whatever, that we awoke in Sunny's house. It was Mari, but then it was like this creepy paranormal stuff. It wasn't actually Mari. So that's kind of why I thought Kel wasn't going to be real. Like, I thought thought it was going to be fake. But Kel was actually there. So where the hell is Mari at? Like, what happened to her? What happened to Basil? Is Basil, like... Did he did he go missing like in Omori or, or Sunny's childhood or something? Did that have something to do with it? Is like like I want to know. I want to know. Also, we're probably gonna go back in the house and do some things. Like I looked up a general basic thing about blackjack. I did not know. No, I did not know how to play it before, and now I I kind of have a general idea. Looking at that video just made me cringe i was like oh my god oh no okay we're gonna load three days left i don't know till when till what yeah we're gonna try to go back in the house hold on sunny you can't go back home yet when there's still so much to do oh this face what the heck liven up it's a brand new day we can't go back in the house yet So I may have messed up. What I should have done is had different save slots. Would have made it a lot easier. Plus, I want to do multiple endings for this game. Yeah, I've already fucked up. But you know what? It's not like you guys have to see all the fucked up parts where I have to go redo everything. Okay? I guess we're going to go because we can't go back inside. A classy white mailbox. Ooh, a for sale sign with a big red sold sticker on it. It's sold! Your house has been sold. In three days, you will be moving somewhere else. That's what three days meant. We got our answer. Three days left means they have three days until they're moving. They only have three days. You are telling me you have friends in this neighborhood and you only have three days left until you move and you're not seeing them? You're just now seeing them? How long has it been since he's seen them? I know it hinted at that he had been isolated for a really long time, so... I guess we can... I don't know where far... Sorry, the freaking cursor. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about that. Anyways, where the hell... What did they say? Far away plaza? I don't know where that is. There's... Wait, hold up, Sunny. I know it's been a while since you've been over at my place, but now might not be a good time. Aw, this is his place? He lives right next door. Seriously? Oh my gosh. You shouldn't walk in the streets, Sonny. It's dangerous. Okay, well, he's telling me what to do. (laughs) Wait, what the? Why the heck are there shoes on the... What are they called? I f- I forget what they're freaking called the um the wires the electricity poles the something I forget what they're freaking called but what the a statue of a religious figure you feel as if it's judging you well yeah I think I would too that's weird why do they have so many fucking statues 
slowly taking my time here. Okay, stop sign. The big red stop sign. Haha. Huh. What's up here? There's up another fire hydrant. Another big red stop sign. What is that? Far away park. The future belongs to the dreamers. Wait. Preacher, I'm on my way to the church, but it's a ritual of mine to take a quick stroll before delivering my sermons. I've had horrible stage fright ever since I was a child, but a scenic walk always seems to calm my nerves. In a park? Pail shovel. Wait. It disappeared? Bangs! Well, I kind of was wondering why the heck there were characters from that colorful world here because this seems more realistic and that didn't at all. I wonder who those, I mean, did those things represent people? <laughs> A jungle gym, smells like rusty metal, yeah. Pretty boy, life's been kind of stressful lately but people watching out here helps me put things in, into perspective. I might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes to relax is to stop and smell the roses. Why does that sound familiar? That sounds so familiar. What the heck? Didn't Kel say something like that? Earth. Hello, youngins. I don't know if you've been watching where you're stepping, but there's quite a bit of trash around this town. If you happen to find any, can you bring it to me so I can dispose of it properly? Come on, youngins. Let's help the world one step at a time. Okay. An artist is diligently sketching away. Whoa, that's a cool drawing of the park you have there. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting dialogues. Okay. Ah! Uh, oh, hi there. Thank you. I'm just practicing. That's what you call practicing? What does it look like? There's a tetherball pole. But it looks so real. I bet you could even sell that for money. Don't you think so, Sunny? What if I say no? Yeah. See? Even Sunny agrees with me. I wonder if I said no. What if I say no in the horrible, in these like cute situations? I say no. No. <laughs> Heck, I'd buy that for me right now. Hey Sunny, can you lend me $20? <laughs> Haha. Thanks. That's so nice of you, but it's not for sale. It, it's for my portfolio. I'm trying to get into art school next year. Ah, oh, darn. That's too bad. That would have looked great on my bedroom wall. <laughs> You really think so? It's Mincy. My name is Mincy. What's yours? I'm Kel, and this is Sunny. Hi, Kel and Sunny. It's nice to meet both of you. It's nice to meet you too, Mincy. Hmm. Huh? What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Oh, what if I said no? That would have been so bad. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself, and it gets hard to move my pencil. I can relate to that. Not to the specifically drawing part. Sometimes I do that, but for fun. Um, but just in general with some of my hobbies, I feel like that too sometimes. No way. I don't believe that at all. I really think your drawing is great. I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years. Don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy. Me and Sunny believe in you. Imagine if it asked me and I could say no. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you're right. I just gotta shake off those bad feelings. I'll I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. That's the spirit. See you around, Mincy. You got this. That's sweet. That that was very sweet. The tether ball pole smells like rusty metal. <laughs> oh my goodness. What the heck? The stench of this man is indescribable. What you making that face for, bub? Smelly hobo. Is there something on my face? Dang. You got trash. Nice. Um. There's somebody running around. Can can I please? Can, can I? Oh, no. Come here. I demand you stop. Stop. Thank you. Oh. Jock. <sighs> oh, hey. What's up? What are you doing here, Kel? You from around this part of town? Oh, whoa, I didn't expect to see you here, Jay. Jay? There's another friend. Sonny, this is Jay. He's the captain of the football team at my high school. 
That answers one of my other questions. They're in high school. How old exactly they are? Don't know, but I know that they're in high school. I think Sunny and Kel are around the same age. So I'd ha- I'd, I'd, th- is Sunny even going to school? Was he going to school? Or was he being homeschooled? I didn't know you played basketball too. Eh, I'm just here to kill time. It's more of a hobby than anything. You're trying out for the basketball team this year, right, Kel? Yeah, he did look pretty tall. I think he'd be good at basketball. Maybe you can teach me some of your tricks. And you know what? In the um, the colorful world, I'm calling it the colorful world because I don't know what else to call it. I mean, we can call it headspace, but we don't really know. Like, it doesn't... It's kind of hinting at it. It's not really... It didn't really tell me straight up. But anyways, the colorful world, we'll say... Or the imaginative world, if that's what we're thinking. Um, a lot of his attacks and stuff, it's like a ball. Like, he always has a ball and stuff. So, it'd be um, accurate to say he's into sports and stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. That sounds like fun. But maybe another time. My childhood friend Sunny here is leaving town in the next few days. So, we're hanging out all day today. I'll definitely catch up with you later, though. Sure, we can set something up next week. Same place, same time? Yep, sounds good. See you then. Kel's got some friends. Wait. I was like, why is he following? What the? F-? Okay, this game. Recycletists? We are the Recycletists. Follower of the Holy Bin. As all have littered, all must accept that they are trash. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Um... I think it's good to love to recycle. They kind of look like the Illuminati. <laughs> but I think that's taking it a bit far. You know, just a little bit. Um, you got trash, fruit car, and mostly full of apples. Apple guy. Okay, he's working out. Drink apple juice. Have you ever heard the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Yes. The same concept applies to apple juice. Apple juice supports your hydration. It contains beneficial plant compounds and may support heart health. It may also protect your brain as you age. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. Maybe I should start drinking apple juice. <laughs> Wait. Do we still have a knife? Olive Beanie. It's a nickname, okay. When I was younger, my family used to go to this park a lot. I remember there being a lake with a statue in the middle, but I can't find it anywhere. A lake with a statue in the middle? I'm not sure. Can I tag people? No. Be interesting. Old hobo? There was a smelly hobo, now there's an old hobo. Oh ho ho ho. Hello. Is he coughing? Ah, today is such a beautiful day, don't you think? I may not have any money, but at least sunlight is free. Fuck. A picnic table. Right. Is there anything over here? There seems to be. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, what is that? You found a coin. <laughs> okay. Free money! Oh, oh, there's a store. Is that Space Boy? Hold on. Would you like to throw a coin in the fountain? Yeah. The coin fell straight to the bottom. A water fountain. You can see coins at the bottom. I hope I wasn't supposed to use that for something. I just made a wish that I would meet my one true love today. Good luck with that. Um, that is Space Boy. Okay, hold on. Come on, Sunny. Let's go to hobbies first. Oh my gosh, Kel. I'm trying to explore a parked car. It's a parking. Oh my god, who would do that? No. What the fuck is wrong with you? You got trash. Yeah, whoever parked that fucking truck is trash. The hell? Like, seriously. What the hell? Okay, okay, okay. I will. I, Kel. Orange guy. <laughs> okay. Drink orange juice. Have you ever heard the phrase orange is the happiest color? No, I thought that was yellow. No? Well, that's fine. Just know that the same concept applies to orange juice. It has vitamin C, which is essential for healthy immune system functions. It's also an antioxidant 
that may have health benefits by protecting your cells from free radical damage. Okay, thank you for the information. I think I'll be going into hobbies now. That's a big life-size thing of Space Boy. I'm pretty sure that's Space Boy. Well, here we are at hobbies. Is this the equivalent of like a GameStop mixed with like... So it, it seems like a gaming slash like anime music store, that kind of thing. It's probably been a while since you were here, but it hasn't really changed all that much. It's all the same old stuff. Captain Space Boy games, sweetheart movies, a few pet rocks. You pet rocks? You mean your pet rock Hector? <laughs> Captain Space Boy games? Sweetheart movies? Interesting. I don't really know what to say about that. I mean, I know we were interacting with those characters sort of in the little colorful world, but if the colorful world is imagination, then maybe he got inspiration from things that were, that he was interested in in his real life, you know? I do that a lot too, like, Engaging with content and stuff like that in my head and making up scenarios and stuff. I do that. A few pet rocks, that's funny. Except now they're vintage. Actually, they're vintage? Since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for Hero. He's in college right now, but he should be coming back sometime tomorrow. College? He's in college? I mean, yeah, they were, they, he is, shoot. Hero is older than them. I knew that much, but dang, he's in college. That makes sense because, I mean, they're in high school. Yeah, interesting. I wonder, like, what he's majoring in and stuff. He's studying to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine? <laughs> you gonna buy him medicine? Really? No, I don't think that's a good gift. <laughs> Depending on what he's studying specifically, which a doctor sounds really hard. That sounds really hard. That's crazy. Um, oh my gosh, Hero. I thought he was gonna be like a cook or something because he, he, in the colorful world, he likes to, his, a lot of his attacks and stuff are based around cooking. So it was just a guess here. I'm just making connections with the characters. A doctor, like maybe you should buy him um, some kind of informational book. Don't know what he already has because I'm sure his college has him buying all kinds of textbooks and stuff. But some interesting informational thing, maybe? Or it doesn't even have to do with anything like that. It could be something to do with his hobbies and or like extra things that he enjoys. Kel, you should know. You're his fucking brother. No, don't buy him medicine. No, that's a horrible idea. You should not pick out the gifts, Sunny. Let's look around and see what there is. Okay, so I get to look around. A new video game called Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3. Rated M for Mature, huh? That's too violent for Hero. He definitely won't appreciate something like this. Playing cards are scattered across the table. A bunch of small figurines. I've always been fond of these little guys. Hero wouldn't get mad at me for spending my lunch money on them, though. Let's not remind him of that. Oh my god. My friend... She's played this game too, but she has so many figures. Like, I mean, I have a, a decent amount of um, content related things. Like I especially collect manga, so I do have a decent amount of manga, but like my collecting is nothing compared to hers. Like it's crazy, <laughs> but she, I mean, She's dedicated. I'll just say that. It's it's really cool. Her room is really cool. It's really overwhelming, maybe to some people, but I mean, I think it's really cool. Anyways, <laughs> no, this never right. Chock full of comics. Looking through these comics brings back so many memories. It's just like the good old times, huh, Sunny? Hero was never too interested in comics, though. That's too bad. Some colorful CDs. Maybe you should play them at a jukebox. Those CDs look pretty cool, but I think Hero would appreciate something more sentimental. Let's keep looking. Chock full of DVDs. Oh, DVDs. This is like a variety store, I think, but it's got a lot of interesting stuff. Like, I don't know how to explain it. 
A lot of these DVDs are catching dust. I'm sure we have most of these somewhere at home already. Probably also catching dust. Can we fight a dust bunny? <laughs> oh man. Okay. A cardboard cutout of Captain Space Boy. They said Captain Space Boy was a game. And Sweetheart was like movies, which is really interesting. Are they in the same universe? Even? Um, let's not talk to them yet. Oh, this. Yes, this is perfect. Papa Chips chip off the old block cookbook. Wow, that's a mouthful. Here I had a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog Hector destroyed it. Your dog Hector? You mean your dog was... His name was Hector? He's going to be so happy when he sees this. Aw, that is something sentimental. And I guess he likes cooking. I think he actually does like cooking. I think their attacks in the colorful world and stuff has a lot to do with their personality but before that we need to ask the most important question how much does it cost twenty dollars this is extortion shoot i left my wallet at home can you spot me sunny i'll pay you back i promise thanks friend i knew you could, i could count on you did i have twenty dollars you took care of his gift off the shelf okay an interesting poster. Wow, the monster in this poster looks realistic. I bet fighting that would be a tough battle. Will you challenge the monster to a battle? <gasps> yes! Um, this is not exactly what I imagined. Jackson? fuck is that face oh my gosh it looks like chainsaw man like what was the freaking chainsaw thing's name i forgot um that was interesting hello sunny earth to sunny whoa a cd fell from behind the poster weird i wonder who hid it there i guess we can just take it you got a mary cd interesting so we got something from that. Um, a poster for a new game where you can travel across different worlds. Nothing you haven't seen. A game called Captain Space Boy Space Adventure. It costs a dollar to play. Hey Sonny, let's get Hero's Gift first, then we can play later. Glasses Boy. My favorite novel just got a comic adaption. That's pretty cool. But the main character looks nothing like how I imagined him. Oh yeah. Colorful girl. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even come all the way from the city to shop here. Yeah, I would too. Um, these gaming systems are brand new game console system. It looks so shiny and sleek. It was for a new game where you can run around and fight evil monsters on skateboards. <laughs> nice. An old video game console hooked up to a TV. What's this? A capsule machine. It's $3. For a try. Hey, Santa, let's get your heroes gift first. Okay. Hey, shopkeep. We'd like to buy this cookbook, please. Kel, how have you been, buddy? It's been a while since you've come around here, hasn't it? Ah, that's Papa Chip's tip off the old block cookbook. I cannot believe I can say that, but I can't read normal sentences. And so you have good taste. Yeah, my brother used to follow his recipes all the time. His cookies were my favorite. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chip's work. That'll be $20, please. I imagine my money's fake. Thank you. How did I even have $20? Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. You got Hero's gift. Thanks a lot, Sunny. I bet Hero will love this. Okay. A toy capsule machine. Try luck with $30. I have $10. That must have mean I had $30. Did this have something to do with blackjack? Oh my gosh. It's $3. No. What about this? How much is this? Cost a dollar to play. Oh, yeah, sure. Yo, I see I, you have your eyes on that video game. It's called Captain Space Boy's Space Adventure. It was more popular a few years ago, but it still retains some competitive players today. People from all over town have tried it, but I'll have you know that I still hold the high score. Oh, yeah? If you can beat it, I'll give you something cool. You know I'm about to be here. You know I'm about to be here doing this. Captain Space Boy Space Boy Adventure. 
Is this similar to what, what is it called? Uh, wait, mission failed. Oh, I see. Kind of crisis averted. What is the game called that reminds me? It's like something about galaxy something. What is the yellow thing? Does it hurt you? Oh my gosh, that scared the shit out of me. No more lives. Wait, oh wait, I don't have any more lives. Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh my. Okay, I don't think you can. What's the score? What's the high score? There's an old retro game that this reminds me of. No! No, I should have moved. I'm a dip. Oh my god. This is kind of- No! 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 No. I will get a better score than that guy. Oh shit. Like, I will st I will sit here and try to beat it. How is this Captain Sp- What- I mean, is Captain Spaceboy just the icon? Just the, like, the, um... What is it called? The freaking mascot? There we go. No! I ran right into it! Like an idiot! No! No, I'm so mad. I had so much more last time. No! Why is it hard? Why is it actually hard? Maybe maybe I just suck at it. Maybe that's the problem. Yes, I will spend all my fucking money doing this. I shouldn't, but I will. I will beat it. I will. I will beat it. No! No, because that means I have to restart. Oh, oh, thank God. No, no, no. It's going faster. It looks like a heart. 10, 10, 10, 10. Oh my God. Oh, oh. Only have, no! <laughs> it barely touched me. It barely touched me. I will do it until I have $3 left because I want to spin on the capsule. I will do this. I will do it. I will beat his score. Shit. No! That's not even fucking fair, dude. That's some bullshit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my no! No! This makes me so mad. I'm raging right now. Oh my god. I literally... I literally do not have that many lives left. Oh my god. Oh. My. God. Oh my god, I got 20.75. No! What is its high score? Like 3,000? Where's my last pet rock? Usually it's 24 dollars I want you to go for 10 dollars. Only a five! No! I've been spending it on this. No. Can we get money? Can we get money? Because I will be. I'll be grinding this. I'm not losing. I am actually dead serious about this. No. I'm so dead serious about this. Oh my god. No. I'm screaming so hard. I'm gonna spend my whole video doing this. I'm so mad. It, it, whatever it is better be fucking worth it because like I spent all my money on it. I'll beat your fucking high score. I will beat your fucking high score. No, no, I thought I had two lives. I got 6,600. <gasps> well, it took me impressed. You actually beat my score. I guess I should make room for a new generation. Here's your prize as promised. I only give this out to people I think are really cool. You got cool glasses. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Yes. Cool glasses. Even cooler when worn indoors. I still have three dollars left. Ha. Huh. Yeah, I will try my luck. You got a Chimaraj keychain. Chimera? Chimera? Cute. Kel's pet. Pet rock. Cal's best friend. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna need more money somehow. In order to buy another pet rock. Oh my god, I seriously, I seriously was screaming at that fucking Captain Space Boy game. That could, I, that game like that can draw me in for sure. 
So, where do you want to go now, Sunny? I guess there's not really much to do around the suburbs, huh? How about the faraway park? Yeah, the park. I literally just went to the park. We passed it by on the way here. Well, are we just, are we actually going to play now? That sounds fun, doesn't it? What? Okay, well, can I, can I do anything else? This is Guitar Guy's donation box. You have donated zero dollars to Guitar Guy. Guitar Guy, yo, I'm Michael, a soon-to-be traveling musician. I've been playing guitar at the Town Plaza for years now, but I think I'm finally ready to move on. Will you help me reach my goal? Anything will help. How much do you want to donate? I don't have any right now. Kinos? Oh, it's like a restaurant. It's a pizzeria. Kindly seat yourself. Glasses man. Hello, hello. My name is Gino. I hope that's how you pronounce that. I know what you're thinking, and no, I don't own this place, but they gave me a free whole pizza for my birthday every year, so that's pretty cool. Mmm, pizza. Wish I could still eat pizza. My wife keeps telling me that I'm getting chubbier and tubbier, but I just can't help myself when we live so close to delicious food like Kino's Pizza. Clumsy <laughs> guy. Oh, hmm, pizza. Okay. Old Beardy? <laughs> Hey kiddos, you caught me on my break. I've been trying to decide what to eat for a good 10 minutes, but I don't know why I'm fussing so much. Whatever I get is sure to be good. Gahahaha. <laughs> that was so sarcastic. Pizza man, hello and welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I do for you? Oh my gosh, I can actually buy stuff. Hero sandwich. Hero's favorite food. Why is it called Hero Sandwich? Did he get a food named after him? I'm Rye. I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of sorts. If you play a CD on the jukebox over there, I bet I can tell you who the artist for the track is. That was adorable. That was very dorky, but very adorable. Children sodas drinks. Oh no, there's another there's another arcade machine. An old jukebox. Do you want to donate Mary CD? Yeah. Insert the Mary CD into the Gino's jukebox. Do you want to play a song from the jukebox? Yes. What song do you want to play? Am I? I know this song. This is an original song by Toby Fox. Okay. Is it okay that I donated it? An arcade machine. It doesn't look like it's working. Aww. So, I see you are peeking at the Help Wanted poster I put there. Are you interested in a job? Yeah? Cool! Let me help you get started. Oh, you're taking this job, Sunny? In that case, I'll come back for you later. Work hard, okay? What? Wait, I can earn money! So, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? And I'll just start with the good news. So, the good news is, we got three different pizza orders today. The bad news is, our delivery boy suddenly called in sick again. These customers are all regulars, so we stopped recording their addresses a long time ago. I can't remember where they live off the top of my head, but I do remember what their houses look like. Here, just take these notes and you'll be fine. Pizza man give you pizza notes. I'll go grab your uniform. I I literally took the- Oh my gosh, Sunny's in a pizza uniform. Don't be shy. Wear your uniform loud and proud. Now remember, you have three pizzas to deliver. When you're done, just bike your way back to the shop. I'm counting on you. Oh my gosh, but we're gonna make money off of this. What is that handwriting? Take this pizza to the house with the blue roof and the brown, the light brown door. Blue roof and light brown door. Pizza delivery. Hey, wow, you guys came sooner than I thought. Thank you, delivery boy. Okay, I only got it wrong the first time. Against all odds, you've successfully delivered the pizza. It's time to move on to the next order. Oh, dear God. Does it get worse? Oh, dear. Why is his handwriting so bad? I did not know we could run. Could we run all this time in both? In all of it? <laughs> Ow. Dude, I am hurting my chest. That's all of them. Oh my gosh, did I? Hey newbie, you're just the guy I wanted to see. According to some recent feedback, it seems that your customer satisfaction rating is eight out of 10. Anyway, here's some monies. 
this nice. <laughs> Maybe you can use it to buy some pizza. You got $20 for your hard work. And since you've been such a good sport, here's another freebie. You got Otherworldly CD? It's one of my all-time favorite tunes. You can play it in Jukebox right now. Down yonder. Uh... Hey, Sonny, how'd it go on your job? While you were working, I decided to sit on the bench and talk to strangers. Man, that was fun. Well, I'm ready to, ready to go when you are. That was fun. Extrovert. Okay, and on Jukebox, do you want to donate your other world with these CD? Yeah. I do. Is it going to play the other world music? To cover a stardust diving by Sam Nalen. Wow, this music is really good. I like this one too. It is the other world music. Guys, I got $20 though. I'm not gonna spin out in the arcade. I'm gonna buy the pet rock. It's $10, right? I did not know you could work at the- I thought I was gonna have to go collecting coins off the ground. No chance to go whim, but I'm off my last pet rock. It's $25, but I like go for 10 when you say yeah. Excellent. You and your new pet rock are a good match. Take care of it. You got a pet rock. Whoa, hold on a sec, Sunny. Is that your pet rock you just bought? Wow, I don't believe it. This is really strange since we haven't played since we were kids. But it just so happens that I have mine too. Yeah, I saw. Right here. Such a weird coincidence, huh? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we battle with our pet rocks? You still remember how to play, right? Yeah. Awesome, I thought you would. Aw, oh, yeah, I'm pumped. Now, let's clash. Are you ready to clash? I should have pressed no. Wait, pet rocks. Okay, so it's like rock, paper, scissors? Let's go paper. Oh shoot, I lost. I guess I'm pretty rusty. All you had to do was, was choose paper the whole time? Oh, that's okay. You were always the one who was good at video games anyway. I guess you're the same old Sunny after all. So are the pet rocks like little like video game things? Huh. I know it's been a while, so let me give you a refresher. Pet rocks is a game where you and your pets team up in battle or clash. If you wear your pet rock as a charm, you can find other players with pet rocks and challenge them. From what I hear, the reigning champs live somewhere around here, but no one knows what they look like. Kind of mysterious, huh? Who knows? Maybe we'll get to meet them one day. Good to know. Okay. Oh. <gasps> hey, that's one of them right there. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and rare collectibles. Okay. Oh, I see you have a pet rock. Did you want to clash? Yes. Okay, I've been training my tomato girl since I was a kid. I won't lose to you. Dude, sh your tomato girl only has three hearts. She killed me so easily. They do the same things. Aw, oh, darn, it's okay, tomato girl. It's not your fault. You tried your best. Oh, we're gonna be the champion. We're gonna be everybody. We're gonna be freaking everybody. Okay. Now we can donate to um the guitar guy. But I want to see what's in these other places first. Just a regular mailbox. Okay. Oh, we can go. We can go in the mart. In my opinion, food is only a vehicle for sauce. To Miss Candace's candy shop. There's a candy shop. I'm going to talk to everyone, though. Strange man. All the containers in this section can be recycled to create new containers over and over and over again. You sound like a recycultist. Such a beautiful concept, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Vegetable mom, my son Billy is such a stickler for the environment. His, he and his friends are always picking up trash around the town. It's so good to see so many young people these days taking care of the plant, planet. 
They might be cult members. I'm curious, what is the candy shop about? Oh my gosh, that's... Okay. Other Mart lady, hello. What? I could not read that. I can't read that. Okay, that was unexpected. Was that put in there on purpose? Job wanted. Hey. Okay, I... Th <sighs> That's either Chinese or Japanese. I think it's Chinese. But I, I can't tell. Because I'm not... I don't know, but I think that's Chinese. I have, I don't know what you're saying. Um, sure, okay. Oh, you're gonna take this job, that's cool. I'll just go hang out somewhere in the meantime. Oh no, what am I getting myself into? What is the job? I give you weapon, you kill flies. The heck? I, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm saying absolutely nothing. Okay, okay. You got fly swatter. Now go. Dang. Okay, girl. Yes. Oh, I fight them. Ew. Is that a wasp? Why is there a wasp? <laughs> he slapped himself. What is this? Oh my gosh, I didn't know I was actually going to have to battle them. I thought I was just going to swat at them. Oh, I've never seen him angry before. I guess you would be annoyed, huh? Alright guys, I'm sorry if you hear stuff in the background. There's a severe thunderstorm warning for this area, so... Of course, in the middle of my video, this has to happen, right? It's gonna be loud. Good job. Other my lady took back her fly swatter. You got $20 for your hard work. Yay, I'm rich! <laughs> Hey, Sonny, how'd you do while we were working? I decided to go send them and just talk to strangers again. Let's go over here. Wait, the bakery's closed. Money machine. A money machine, not a cash register. Closed on Sundays. It's a Sunday, apparently. Guys, I'm scared. I don't like storms, and it's freaking storming right now. I better get a notification if there's, like, a tornado warning or something, because I'm gonna fucking freak the fuck out. I'm terrified of tornadoes and shit i'm terrified of storms whoa that's a bit excessive right it looks like we just walk it, you know it does look like we walked into a candy store yeah a cardboard cutout of the shop owner seems a bit much welcome we hope our candy makes you smile i told you curtsy it's smiley miss candace smiley y yes ma'am Oh, jeez. Okay. So, much candy. Hi, hi! It's me, the happy and cheery Miss Candace. I'm not gonna make a joke. I'm not gonna make a joke. What would you like today, smiley smiley? Okay, I'm gonna save my money for now. Please come again, or else. Smiley smiley. <laughs> yeah. So much candy. Well, you know, it's cool to have something you're, um dedicated in let's go to fix it there's a lot of tools welcome to fix it where you can buy stuff and fix it yourself what can i interest you in buy flowers They're important people okay i got flowers there's a job there's a job sign guys Oh, <laughs> pigtails lady. After all this time, we finally moved in together. This is so exciting, isn't it, Sean? Yeah. Checkers go. This is the start of the rest of our lives. Now it's time to make our first important decision. What color should we paint our house walls? House's walls. I, j I really thought they were about to say, when should we have our baby? I don't know why. I don't know why. I've just, I just got a dirty mind, okay? Hmm. I think anything would work. I like all of the colors. What do you think, Sean? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I could go anyway, too. Don't worry about me. You can choose Karen. Karen. What color would you like? They're going to go back and forth. Oh, Sean, you're too selfless. I don't need to pick the wall color. I'll be happy with anything as long as I'm with you. Karen, if we keep doing this, we're going to be stuck here forever. Hmm, you're right. What if we just close our eyes and pick a color? Oh, that works. That way, with... The result will be completely impartial. Let's do it. 
Okay, sounds good. Close your eyes, Karen. Wait, hold on. It's okay. You should be the one to do it, Sean. Oh no, I insist. Oh, we're not getting anything done here, are we? I have an idea. Let's go, <laughs> let's get a stranger to help us. Oh great, hey you, could you help us out for a second? Please come here and pick a color sample. Just make sure it's completely random. You picked a floral wall sample. Wallpaper sample. Huh? What's this wallpaper doing here in the paint section? Hmm. It must have gotten misplaced. Well, it's not really what I was expecting, but I'm kind of digging it. What do you think, Karen? A wallpaper seems neat. I think this works just fine. I'm freaking out. Let's do it. Thank you so much for your help. We're both from around the area. But we just moved in together into a brand new house recently. It's the one with the yellow roof on the street near the church. Yellow roof near the church. We're thinking of having a housewarming party two days from now. It would be amazing if you could join. Okay, two days from now, housewarming party, I think that's what they said. I cannot pay attention with the loud fucking racket in the background. Oh wait, I can go back here. Oh wow. That's interesting. Okay. I was literally just about to say that looked like Aubrey and Basil. For some reason. That I mean, the silhouettes look the same. What is that? You found a seashell. That's a huge seashell. It would make sense if it was Basil, though, because of the flowers. Did something happen to them? Where are they? Why is it only Kel? Oh, you're taking this job? Oh. Poor Kel. Trying to hang out with us and we're just taking a bunch of jobs. Boom. Done. Look <laughs> at okay, Kel. Snore, snore. Huh? What? You're finally done? Excellent work, kid. Here's $30. You don't spend it all in one place. I won't. You got $30 for your hard work. Hey, Sonny, how'd it go? Oh, he was playing basketball this time. Man, that was fun. Well, I'm ready to go when you are. Poor, I am. So, I feel so bad for Kel because we're supposed to be hanging out with him. It's honest work. Um, we're supposed to be hanging out with him, and we're just like, we're just not hanging out with him, finding anything else to do but hang out with him. Like, what the heck is wrong with me? Yes, I will donate to you. No, not street lamp. Yes, <laughs> you guys. Okay. Will you help me reach my goal? Anything will help. Let's do ten. Are you sure you want to donate ten dollars? Yeah. You've donated ten dollars, Adrian. Looks like I still have quite a bit to go before I can afford to leave town. Thank you. I return. In return, I'll play you an original song. That's the same song, guys, from the train station. There's a group of people there now. Aren't we supposed to be going to the park? Oh, there's another group. What? Wait, don't go. Wait, wasn't that that figure that we saw in the, in the flower shop? With Basil? I think that was Basil. Wait, don't go, please. Sorry, dude. I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh-oh. There's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. This ain't none of my business. If you got beef, beef with her, then talk to her yourself, you creep. The heck? I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait, is that? That's Basil. So he's not missing. At least here. He's here. I think. Right? Leave him alone, you bully. Huh? Who's there? Oh, it's just Cal. Hmm. Does that happen to be Burly? Why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you bother someone else, Kim? Oh, it's not. Psh. Well, aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? Who's a chick with a pink hair? That's bright. 
Uh, wait, the bow? Why is she, why is she got, is that Aubrey? Why, why has she got pink hair? I mean, technically, I'm, she, well, I'm confused. Okay, why the fuck is she holding a bat with nails in it? I, well, she did love bats, I guess, I think. But goddamn, isn't that a bit, like, harsh? Oh, hey, Aubrey. This nerd cow just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Weren't they friends? Him and Aubrey and them? Let's show him what's what, Kel. What do you want? Stop messing with Basil. What? What is going on here? How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Okay, so there's some drama. There's some drama going on here, apparently. They did used to be friends. Basil's fine. I don't know why I went missing in the other world. Like, the heck? Anyways, tell her, Sonny. Sonny's here? Yeah, I'm here. Wow, it's really you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. That isn't- she doesn't seem so nice, does she? Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, what has he been through? I mean, like, where the fuck is his sister? I mean, Basil's here, so, I mean, I, I don't know. Something weird's going on here. Something weird is going on with Mari, too, because, like, that thing with Basil and him saying her name and shit and Mari not being here, that's really suspicious. What the heck happened? Did Basil do something? Oh, Basil. Aubrey, please, listen to me. That's so mean. Oh my god. Okay. Bullying is absolutely horrible. Like, I'm... It makes me so upset. But the thing is, it's just like, teenagers... Just, just, kids are horrible sometimes okay a lot of the time it's so horrible i wish that i could do something about it like that's some fucked up shit dude do you, i mean you're messing with people and you don't even know what their home life is and the people who are bullying probably have shit going on too it's just complicated hey stop that leave it alone cal this isn't your problem what the heck is wrong with you aubrey Ugh, sunny come on we gotta do something Haha, <laughs> are you guys really picking a fight? Uh, that bat has nails in it. Sure, why not? You two against me, how's that sound? Come at me. I'll take on the both of you. She seems pretty mean now. Ding, turned into a mean girl. Oh my god, what? <laughs> she is like... She hit puberty. Pu no, 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 no. She didn't hit puberty. Puberty hit her. Puberty hit her. Them hormones hit her. Man. The music. Jesus. Uh, I don't like that we're attacking each other. Is he using a knife? What the? Is... Is that a knife? Dude, this is real life. Did you did you stab her? Oh shoot. Aubrey, are you okay? You're you're hurt. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding. Sunny straight up stabbed her. Is she okay? I mean, she's the one who picked the fight, but you don't I mean you don't stab someone. Ugh, I'll get you back for this. Guys. Okay, seriously, it's taking forever for all of you to get out. Whoa, that was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife there, or we would have... Wait a second. Give me that. Kel took away your steak knife. 
You shouldn't be carrying things like this, Sonny. That's dangerous. Did you not see the fight? We literally tried to slash her. That's a bit much. I mean, does something... I mean, fighting and, like, your imagination and games and stuff, that's one thing. But reality, you can't just, like, throw a knife at somebody. You could kill them. I mean, shit, but she did have a bat with damn nails in it and stuff. Was she planning on swinging that thing at us? I mean... Shit, I mean, that that's really fucked up. Always really changed since you last saw her. No shit! Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Wrong crowd? Is that what the problem is? Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. Yeah, Basil! What the heck? Where did you come from? Hey, Basil, how are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you, Cal. I don't know if you noticed, but Sunny is here too. Say hi, Sunny. Oh, hey, Sunny. Aw, he seems to be a little more cheered up. It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh huh. That was weird. Woohoo! <laughs> what a happy, happy reunion. Not really. That was a really fucked up way to have a reunion. So, did you want to hang out with us today? Oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I I should probably head home. Basil looks really tired, like worn out. He's got me worried. Like, what is going on? Why is Aubrey being all bitchy? I'm sorry, like, what, what in the world happened to make them do this? I mean, like, what made them split up other than, you know... Because, I mean, they live in the same neighborhood, so it doesn't seem like they'd be going to different schools unless one of them stayed for homeschooling or, like, you know, how Sonny isolated himself. I don't know. Huh? Really? Are you sure? My, um, my grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh. So, is there, like, a family member thing? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let us at least walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. Oh. All right, then. Thank you. Okay. Um, are you guys just going to drop me off? Oh. Why is it so quiet? Can I save? Okay, I can't do anything but go. That's not the way to Basil's house, remember, Sonny? It's on the street that's diagonal from ours, from the crosswalk. Okay, I can push shift to sprint. I, I wish I knew that sooner. I've been going... I've been going fucking... <sighs> Jesus Christ. Um. Why was there a random wormhole? Oh, wow. That's really pretty. There's Basil's house. It's that one with the green roof. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I'm gonna take you home, jeez. Um, thanks for walking me home. No problem, oh. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. He is being bullied. That's terrible. You know, he's no wonder he's worn out if he's being bullied constantly. Okay. Huh? Wait, please don't go. Oh, is he okay? Uh, I mean, I, I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil, what do you need? Well, you see, something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends. Do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Yeah. Of course I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. Uh, right. Well, Aubrey... She took my photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album? Yeah, why would she do that? I mean, like, you can bull... Bullying to the next level? Are you seriously going to take their belongings? Just like... Especially when you used to be friends. What is going on? What the fuck? 
something must have happened. It can't just be as simple as, oh, you know, wrong crowd. I mean, there's got to be something. Well, she, she won't give it back. Oh, that must have been what the thing was, what the whole, like, commotion was about. What a scumbag. Well, don't worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Sunny got you covered. Well, that was a tr change of move. Angry and then, mm, like, happy. Oh, okay. Thank you. By the way, about what you said before, are they going to get his photo album back? We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. Gosh, Basil's so... Well, I'll see you later. That difference between that tired-looking expression and that it almost seems forced. Come on, Sonny, there's no time to lose. We got a photo album to find. Let's check Far Away Park for clues. All right, guys. I've done um, a lot of grinding this episode. I don't know how long this episode's going to be. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, please leave a like and let me know what you think about it in the comments. I'm so excited to be playing Zelda as well. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day or a great night whenever you're watching this. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.